Okay, so let's start on the first of the four kinds of telemarketing, which is inbound, meaning the call is coming into the company, B2B. So business customers calling into the business itself, okay? So at one point in time, um, there were people who answered all the phone calls that came into a company and then routed those calls by a directory to the person who was being requested. Um, many of these people were women, certainly not all, particularly lately. Um, and oftentimes in New York City, and I've made lots of sales calls and customer calls in New York City, B2B calls. You'd um, take the elevator up to the company's floor. And, well, you after after 9/11, you check in the security first at the, you know, at the door of the building or near the door of the building before you got in an elevator, and then you went up and um, to the company's floor, and you were buzzed through the doors of the company, and there to greet you was a receptionist, who was also usually at least one of the phone operators. And uh, I think that's what this young lady is. Of course, nowadays you go up to a company's uh, floor and what used to be the receptionist desk as an empty chair, because that's one of the head counts that has been replaced by um, voice answering systems and routing systems. Um, and uh, I just mentioned this, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, used to be something called Secretary's Day, which somebody I think at Hallmark must have dreamt up, along with whoever dreamt up Mother's Day and Father's Day and everybody else's day, Grandparents' Day. And just uh, it was renamed Administrative Assistance Day. Uh, and now it's Administrative Professionals Day. And just to remind you, it's April 22nd this year. And this is, uh, this place succeeds because of you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so instead of our administrative assistant or our receptionist, a human being answering every phone call, many, pretty much all B2C inbound calls and many B2B inbound calls will go into a company's uh, phone system and be handled by an automated attendant. And, um, you know, that's where you'll dial someone's extension or go right to the person or you'll go to a department, press one for sales, right, two for service. And um, sometimes you can actually reach a live person by dialing zero, but sometimes you can't. <laughs> They'll actually, um, you know, if you're stuck and just not getting anywhere, it'll hang up on you. Um, which if you're a B2B customer, a valuable customer, that's probably not a really good idea to have your phone system set up that way. Um, this is just the basics of how this kind of thing would be routed. Um, right, a couple of different departments and then Within the department, press one for this, two for that, three for that. You can always dial someone's extension also, usually. They don't show that here. Or you can press four for help, and then you'll get transferred to an operator whenever he or she is free. And uh, this kind of menu, and uh, I'll tell you, um, some government systems have, like, the most outrageous menus and submenus and things you have to listen to. It's enough to make you jump out a window. Um, why is this done? Of course, it saves money. You don't have to have operators. But, again, I would say, all right, if you're in a B2C environment, probably all right to do this. But in a B2B environment, where a valuable customer could be calling, you really don't want to do that. You notice I put live person in the sales department. So... You know, maybe you go right to the, if you want sales or customer service, you go right to a live person is maybe a good idea or 
even better yet, you get a special number to call um, if you're a valuable customer. And there's the live person you can go to. He even has a live plant, and he can help you. So a live person does get involved, just not at the front door. And by the way, for B2B um, inbound calls, the person at the company, the salesperson who gets the call, is not working with a script or whatever. This is a customer calling up, an existing customer calling up for some help with something. And so the salesperson who handles the account wants to get the call as quickly as possible. And he or she knows the customer and knows how to handle the customer. They probably have a software CRM platform like Salesforce, which if they have to, uh, they could quickly bring up that particular customer and look at a record of their last phone calls with the customer because they've written it into a report. They can see the name of the customer's dog and uh, you know, whatever else, you know, so they can use the software platform to prepare themselves to um, develop a better relationship with the customer. But they're basically winging it. There's no script for this. These are high level people who are well trained and they know how to handle customers. They're expensive, but that's 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 it. That's why the B to B inbound calls are expensive because the people who get those calls are well paid. B to C business to consumer inbound. So it really should in a way should be consumer to business inbound because the consumer is calling the business. And here it's often uh, an 800 number, right? So it's a toll free call. And here's another little cartoon because I know you guys just love these. You're buying something, it's very important. If you want us to service what you own already, forget it. If you're calling to complain, your call is a waste of time. They also want to know if you're a business to business customer, you're important. If you're a, a, a personal, you know, home customer, we don't care. <laughs> okay, that seems to be the attitude we get from uh, these systems sometimes, right? Okay, and again, uh, even more so, you've got these systems to deal with these automated um, operating systems. Why? To save money. Human beings are expensive. By the way, um, just because it's so hard to actually get a human being on consumer calls, there's a company called Get Human you've probably heard of, where if you type in a company name on their site, they'll supposedly give you a number or tell you to press 1, press 2, press 5, press 8, you know, at different junctures in the automated system so you can get to a, a human being fairly quickly so this is obviously an area of frustration for people important to add a human touch many times to these b to c complaints or you could lose a customer so when a customer service agent does end up getting on the phone and this does happen <laughs> many times um, it's important that that person is, knows how to handle what may be a very upset customer um, in a good way. And I've got a little video here about that need to um, be empathetic when you talk to customers and customer service. Let's play that video and then uh, we'll meet you on the other side.